Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. We have our very own South by Southwest correspondent, Gary Shapiro. <laughs> I am South by Southwest correspondent. I wanted to report to you that the excitement, the tension, the technology, the ideas, the people, the creativity that's burgeoning through these cavernous halls and wow. throughout the city of Austin is incredible. We are seeing job. things we've never seen before. There's <laughs> culture, there's music, there's bands, there's video. And it's all here in the great state of Texas. Back to you, Callie and John. <laughs> wow, I think we're done. That was yeah, incredible. <laughs> You guys, that's Gary Shapiro. He is the CEO of the CEA. I love to say that. I know. It's just so much fun, as I always say. The yeah. Consumer Electronics Association. With you the know. CEO of the CEA, which produces CES. Right, exactly. Yes. yes. <laughs> so how are you doing there, Gary? Are you enjoying the fine uh, weather here down in Austin? Well, the weather is a super big bonus, considering that uh, my uh, five-year-old in Michigan is has school canceled today because he has over six inches of snow. Oh, wow! But but I'll tell you, it is great having produced a you know a, a wonderful event, the CES in January, to come to someone else's event and just <laughs> honestly relax and enjoy it. I mean, of course, I have a pretty busy schedule, and I've met so many people and have spoken in a number of events and more to come. But this is definitely the highlight right now, of course, talking to you, Callie. <laughs> Oh, and wow. John. Such, oh, yeah. such a flatterer. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good at that. <laughs> well, I know you are very busy, and we'll talk about what you've been seeing and stuff, but I did hear that you got some time to yourself to enjoy a couple bands. Oh, Rachel gave that away. <laughs> I, actually, I think it was the latest I've stayed out in about 10 years, which means it was past midnight. And no, there's the uh, Austin music scene is great, and there were so many, it's such a diversity of music and bands and talent. and. And from, you know, hard rock to folk, uh, from hip hop to you name it. And it's just exciting. I mean, it's, it's a great vibe in the city. It's a wonderful place. Food is amazing. You know, it's a very, um, it's, it's a large group of people in a relatively small city, but everything seems peaceful and fun. It's more of a festive, festival, carnival type atmosphere than the, the more serious business atmosphere of the CES, which yeah. is actually yeah. refreshing. What is, I think it's time for rapid fire again. Is it really? What's your favorite band oh. <laughs> or your favorite type of music? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still a rock guy. Oh, uh, okay. Rock. That, that is, is rapid fire time over because it was like yeah, one question? Yeah, I know. That was one question. We that was it? <laughs> because I don't think he wants me to, I don't think he wants you to ask him. He doesn't want any more of my questions. Again. You can ask me anything you want. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's what I want to ask. What have you seen at uh, South By so far this year, and have you seen anything really, really awesome? You know, it was, um, it was a really cool uh, woman designer who started a company, a fashion designer, and it's a basically clothing that gets across a message from your smartphone. It illuminates with different lights, and it's washable. You know, the, um, the press didn't understand that it was here because it was very uh, kind of a discovered and, we, and um, I was on stage with uh, Robert Scoble, the Scobalizer, who, yeah. mm -hmm. who didn't maybe explain enough that she was a founder, that some press called her some girl on stage poured, poured water on Robert. Yeah. Uh, just to show it was clean, but it's actually, it's a, and, she's, and, and of course she asked how much was it, and she said, well, the first few are $4,000 a piece. Anyone in electronics understands that's the way it works. Yeah. The first ones are expensive, then she said the next few are a few hundred dollars. So the, the few articles were written panning this like, super expensive shirt, but honestly, this is the future. It, there will be fat and, and that incorporates technology. I mean, everyone from Nike to Under Armour to others are going that way. More of a useful function of, of measuring certain things, but we're also, there's design, there's information that are coming out, and the world of technology and so many other industries are converging. And so that I thought was really, really cool on many, many different levels. And we'll see more of that type of thing in the future. How, uh, how long, if she's already selling it for 4000 right at the very beginning, how long until we see the market explode where it's available to all consumers? Well, she only has made 22 of them and she just launched here. So I don't know if she's even selling yet. But yeah. what, I, what I think is, is it'll be a matter of a few years. She's seeking some funding. And, but that's what this is. There's a startup field of this community. There's a lot of things here that I like I saw last year, for example, when I was in um, the Netherlands, a company that had basically you, you could create any app with just point and touch and in five minutes. 
I was just down in the exhibit hall and I saw another company that had done something very similar. We could create apps very easily um, and they were showing it. So a lot of companies fill a space, some, you know, whether it's, it's coincidental or they're copying each other, I don't know, or it's just the next, next logical thing in technology. But there's a lot of really, really cool things here that you almost have to see to um, learn about and meet people and talk and see their vision because some people may be great inventors but they're not great articulators or marketers or salespeople and you know they have to team up with others and then other people will improve upon it and we have mass market items. Well we see a lot of new stuff launched yep. at South By. We see more at you know an event like CES because of the sheer scale, the magnitude Size, of it. Yeah. But at South By for uh, you know, pound for pound, there's a lot of innovation taking place uh, there, and, sure. and of course, in the smart fabric arena, uh, it's interesting to hear about uh, the. Well, this, what was this the name lady. of that? Yeah, do you remember? Do you recall? I, the name of the fashion uh, person. I'm. I am. Okay. I can get it to you by the end of the interview. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put it in the show notes. We'll, we'll figure it out <laughs> later. But you know, we've also been reading about. Uh, fabrics that will generate electricity. So yeah. I could see a day where you're wearing clothing that is kind of generating its own power and able to accept input from your phones and things like that. I mean, that is definitely where it's going. Um, we. The question is, will it give you your own energy to be able yeah, to can you it, know, can I, can replace I, coffee? I want some can little I, plugs on my body. Coffee, pour the coffee into the fabric. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Skip the step of having to drink it yourself. Now there's obviously a lot of great things here. The difference between CES and South By is not only the location and the time, but you know, CES is a business trade event. You have to qualify to be there. South By is a cultural event. Anyone is welcome to come. You know, you pay the admission, you get in. Um, there's a lot of people just coming to town to be there at related events. Uh, and it, it really is more of a really festival, jovial, fun atmosphere. Well, CES is, is more of a business event, I think people dress a little more. Here's is more different colored hair than at CES for sure. Yeah. And there's probably less hair at CES than the guys. <laughs> yeah. So should, are you saying we should expect to see a blue hair dye on, on you next week, maybe? Um, maybe, perhaps, I don't know if I'll go that way, or tattoo. Or tattoo, uh, yeah. It's a, the name of the company is Valentine's at T-Shirt OS. Okay. T-Shirt OS, is it? T-Shirt OS. T-Shirt OS, like Perfect. a T-Shirt yes. operating okay, system. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice. That's nice. it. That's, thank you, John, for explaining. I didn't quite get that, but you explained <laughs> that to me really well. <laughs> See, you're, you're the communicator. I, that's my one useful right. thing that I will contribute to the show today. But so. I want to formally congratulate, you know, not only is, is South by here in Texas, but what you guys have just done with your new building investment and expanded thing. It's, oh. a, it's a huge for the state of Texas. It's huge for technology. It's huge for you personally and, and the great entity that you're putting together and breaking out in so many ways from your new website to everything else. And I congratulate you, offer our support. Oh. Um, I love it when, when like somebody tries something different and you guys have so much momentum. You have a phenomenally intelligent, motivated audience as well. Yes, we do. Um, I, I love how they tweet. <laughs> well, thank you, Thanks, Gary. Gary. That means uh, the world coming from you, and I hope that you'll be able to join us for our launch party or shortly thereafter. Yeah, we're going to, when we get in the building, the new building, we're going to have a big grand opening party at some point. Indeed. So you'll, you'll get your invite. Hopefully that you'll be, be able to like... No, this is his invite. Come, oh, this is it. Huh? <laughs> so I will mark on my calendar an indeterminate date in the yeah. future. I'll exactly. just block out the second half of the year. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem, right? Right. So what else at, at South by... Well, you know, what other panels have you sat in on or, or uh, technology that you've seen that's really piqued your interest? Um, it's interesting. But there's a number of countries that are here trying to represent themselves as a great place to do business. Huh. And um, even places around the country and cities, uh, which is interesting how countries want to position themselves. It is a little bit of a diffuse audience that's here. So it's, uh, it's uh, when I, I ask companies what they are trying to accomplish here, how they will measure their success, which I'm really big on measurements. Yeah. And not one company could tell me yeah. what they, they said, oh, we just want to try out an idea, we want to expose it. Uh, so it's a very different type of approach. I think people are seeking feedback on concepts, which are really interesting concepts. There was, I was just talking to a, a, a guy from the um, the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and T, whatever that stands for. Trans, transgender. Right. Transgender. I almost said transvestite, but I didn't know that that was their own. 
anyway, he, I said, what are you doing here? And he said, well, we're trying to make sure that their entrepreneurs are comfortable in that category, which, and we, and, you know, it's, everything's an education here. Some of it is one-on-one -on -one talking about it. Uh, NASA is here at wow. exhibiting, which is really exciting. And, and they had, you know, they're trying to talk about the fact that the space program is still going on. They're doing some very exciting things. Uh, the Postal Service is here. I, I didn't honestly stop by and find out, but they're here. <laughs> um, CEA is here because well, we're pushing the concept and getting support for the fact that patent trolls are destroying entrepreneurship in America. And we want to make sure that the Senate passes something because the House has acted. President Obama supports it. We want action on this. Yeah. So we have the Democrats and Republicans lined up. We have to push it over the finish line. That's what we're here talking about. And we're talking about innovation and the innovation movement. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are talking about startups in different areas like Uber, for example, being a great service and things like that. So there's a lot of disruptive technologies that everyone's talking about. I don't think there's the breakthrough here that, um, you know, Foursquare might have been a couple of years ago or yeah. Twitter was. I think Twitter was launched here a few years before that. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't seen that. And I haven't seen the controversy of a couple of years ago associated with putting uh, little Wi-Fi stations on homeless people around the city. So. <laughs> It's been a fairly peaceful, uh, but fun, interesting, informative, engaging, stimulating, evocative conference. Nice. <laughs> I like, you, you should be an author. Oh, wait, yeah, you know, he, speaking he is of stimulating an author. and evocative, uh, <laughs> didn't you write a little book a little while back? How's that doing? Actually, I can only talk that way because I'm talking to you two and, and you encourage me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to impress one of you. Well, so, yeah, yeah, we know sure which one Sean. it is. No. Uh, so you wrote a little book called Ninja Innovation. How is that doing? It's doing phenomenally well, actually. Uh, the uh, publisher, I think, has sold out of books. The first run, they've been, apparently, they're being published in several languages around the world now. Oh, Just got the awesome. Chinese version, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish. Uh, so that's pretty exciting, and uh, I think a paperback may be, be coming out shortly. I've been told. In fact, this is the first public disclosure of that. I think is right here. Wow! Yay! Hey, what's it, hey, Gary, what's it like to be famous, like worldwide? I don't know. You tell me. You have more Twitter <laughs> followers than I do. But no, actually, it's kind of fun to walk around tech conferences, and sometimes people will stop me, and you know, hopefully, someone who's not impressing me, who's walking with. I mean, we become more impressed with me, but actually, yeah. I still, it doesn't work out that way. I still take out the garbage and change dirty diapers. So. <laughs> well, that's good to know because you're human. And uh, speaking of which, and we I was love curious. You. Oh, of course. Uh, so, so if your lang if your book is in all these different languages, time for single question rapid fire again. Do you speak any other languages other than English? Spanish, un poco, French, and German, a bissel, and uh, I don't know. I can read Hebrew, wow. and who knows what else. I, and I understand a little that. Polish. Well, you I, know, I don't even understand what he said. You know, a lot of people don't realize it, too, but Gary is actually an attorney. Yes. But we don't hold that against him. False. Them. We don't hold it against Recovering attorney. Them. Yeah, 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 exactly. Recovering attorney. He, he actually went to school for a long time and learned a bunch of stuff that he never uses anymore. But He's actually very, very smart. Yeah, he's a smart guy. Oh, that's very kind of you. Actually, you're both incredibly <laughs> witty, intelligent, and knowledgeable about stuff that I'll never learn, like technology. You're right, <laughs> you're right. Hey, that's Gary. only the master of it. So I'm curious now, you gave us a little bit of an idea yep. of some of the things you've seen. What else is on your agenda before you leave the great state of Texas here for, you know, the end of South by? You know, it's really interesting. So tomorrow I'm doing a, uh, a session on audio and technology, music and technology. And, you know, there is a movement out there of getting better quality audio. No question about it. You know, the, the phenomenal rapid sale of these great headphones and the evolution is absolutely terrific. And I'm seeing uh, there's a number of companies here showing some cool audio products, including, you know, uh, there's a transducer you can put on a table and get great audio sound out of. They, they first show their product at CES and they're showing it here. Um, other products as well with just great headsets are here. Obviously, you know, the Beats Dr. Dre type people are here speaking all, over, all about different things. So audio is, is on my mind now because we've shifted from the, as of today, the technology interactive portion of the show to the music portion of the, of the uh, festival, which is really interesting. So, you know, sound matters. Uh, we're doing some really interesting things, frankly, and what's on my mind is audio. And not only that, we just um, I do, uh, are in Washington, D.C., we're actually fighting our own little battles. You know, a large percentage of the population is hearing impaired, uh, especially those people who listen to a lot of rock and roll, uh, too loud, <laughs> maybe combined with other things. And the way the law is set up today is that you have to, if you want to 
take care of that with a hearing aid, you have to spend several thousand dollars and go to an audiologist. And we're trying to change it so that you can do what you do with your eyeglasses. If you can go into a drugstore, you know, you figure out which glasses work and you put them in. There's a, the, the technology has changed dramatically so you can put these little hearing enhancer, these personal audio yeah. enhancement devices on and it will help you. But the law now, the Food and Drug Administration bars it. And basically the, the handful of uh, companies that make these super expensive hearing aids have gotten together and created their oligopoly. So very few people are buying these hearing aids, but when they do, they spend a tremendous amount of money, and the rest of the population is deprived of listening and hearing, and it's such a, a gift. You know, there's a lot of research which shows that even when you watch television, the audio is more important than the video in terms of your overall experience. But just to enjoy life, you, you know, hearing is so critical. That, Indeed. Uh, this is the new mission you'll be hearing more about that we're on, is to change the laws in Washington. Well, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be fully behind that, because most people don't know it, but I actually lost about 50% of my hearing in one of my ears. And um, it does, it changed, it changed my life. It makes a big difference for me. Uh, Although I, I like it because I get to mumble, you know, <laughs> angry things and he never hears me. I, I, it's, it's <laughs> terrible. It's terrible to feel like uh, when you feel that you're, you're a, a, a reasonable person, right. uh, you know, who isn't exactly an idiot, and to have to constantly be saying what, what, huh, what, huh, it makes you, it affects how you feel about yourself. Yeah. And I don't have a hearing aid because there are so many hurdles, it's so hard, and why can't I just get one of these little things to go in my ear? I mean, what's the big deal? I don't understand. So I, I'm fully, fully behind that. I All right, so I will accept that support, and we will maybe link into your website with a petition campaign to the FDA. We will That's definitely cool. push that one. No Thank doubt about you, John. it. Absolutely. <laughs> well, hey, I know you've got to get running. Yeah, sure you got more bands to you. catch, and you know, <laughs> parties to attend, the hair to yeah, dye. Don't miss tough. six. Someone streets. has to do it. <laughs> well, well, Google, thank you. It's always a pleasure talking to you both. You both are breath of fresh air. Um, I am very impressed with your hearing aid support. And wow, I, I think you have a spelling problem, though. Yeah. <laughs> little... Maybe maybe we can start a campaign to help me with spelling. Uh, yeah. It's always refreshing to see you. So, <laughs> you too, Gary. Thanks for thank joining you. us, Gary. Okay, you thank guys. You. Thanks for uh, watching along. Thumbs up on YouTube. Go check out Gary uh, NinjaInnovation.com, guys. Indeed. All, All right. right, we're out of here. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Bye now.